Hey guys, welcome back to Local Eats with Local Peeps. Today we decided to get donuts from four different places here in town and try them out and compare them. Yeah, so first off in Brockville, uh, McDonald's just has their, their uh, new donuts. And uh, pretty much all across we got um, Boston Cream, uh, Apple Fritter, and uh, vanilla dip and chocolate dip for yeah. me because I don't like the kinds that you like. <laughs> yeah, uh, we got Tim Hortons country style and Wish, Wish Upon, Upon a, a donut. donut, which is uh, a new donut place here in Brockville that is uh, handmade donuts. Yeah, so I guess uh, we're going to start off with the McDonald's donuts. So uh, Alex will be eating the Boston cream and the apple fritter. So that's an app. That's an apple fritter. They're really, really tiny. They're mini donuts, though, at McDonald's. To be yeah. fair, they're mini donuts. Uh, Boston cream. Yeah. And sprinkle. They don't have uh, a chocolate dip. So this is like their vanilla dip. Yeah. Here's two of them. Oh, he got me two vanilla dip. <laughs> and. Uh, these are 90 cents a piece. Yeah, 90 cents a piece. Uh, Tim Hortons is 90 cents. A donut, yeah. Country Style is $1.31 a donut, and Wish Upon a Donut yep. is $1.88 a donut, roughly. So, Wish Upon a Donut is the most expensive, but they're also made from scratch. Yep. And it's like a, 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 lo a nice local business. And they're not frozen and reproduced across the country. And... They're just delicious. All right. I'm going to try my vanilla dip. I'm only going to try the one because he got me two when they don't have the other kind that I like, so. Yeah, they're just a mini version. So that was Boston Cream for McDonald's. Very good. Mm hmm Now the apple fritter. Really, it's compared to Wish Upon a Donut. Now that's an apple fritter. Mm-hmm. Tim Hortons didn't give me a... Oh yeah, they did. Apple fritter. Tim Hortons. Country style. Wish Upon a Donut. Wish Upon a Donut Which, is the biggest one. I've seen them double the size of Wish Upon a Donut. So that's small compared to what they <laughs> usually do. But So your Boston cream was okay? Yeah. That's good. My vanilla dip was good. I mean, you can't really mess up on donuts. Yeah. Which one's that? It's uh, oh, apple fritter. fritter. Very good. It was good, yeah. For McDonald's, I guess. Like, yeah. Now, they don't have very many kinds, so you're very limited. That's why I have the two vanilla dip, because they don't have the chocolate dip there that I like, but that's okay. All right, we're going on to Tim Hortons. Here's your uh, vanilla dip. Oh, thank you. And uh, we'll go with uh, the apple fritter. And the Boston cream. Can I have my chocolate dip donut too, oh, please? yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> All right, let's try these. You're doing the Boston first. I bit halfway through this Boston cream at, at uh, Tim Hortons, I don't even see filling. We'll see. There's more filling in McDonald's. Hmm. So that's very disappointing. Now I remember when I was a kid, there used to be hunks of apple in an apple fritter, and they used to be huge. Not anymore? No. No. It's good. But not the best. Um, I just tried a bite of my vanilla dip. Mm -hmm. Like the, the frosting and the sprinkles are okay, but the donut itself is very dry. So I don't feel like they were made fresh today, but that's okay. No, I think they're probably made fresh today, but. Why are they dry then? Because it's Tim Hortons. Okay, let's try the chocolate dip one. Tim Hortons is not a donut shop anymore, I feel. Same type of texture. Same type of dry texture. I actually need a little water. Yeah. Show. Alright, so we'll go with country style, which are my favorite Boston cream donuts. 
They were so good for a chain restaurant, that is. I mean, they, they probably were until you tried Wish Upon a Donut. You well, like that, that is better. true. Here's your vanilla dip. Thank you. Now, so, I'm starting to run out of room on my plate. The Tim Hortons uses... Uh, little rounds. I don't know if you guys can even see this because it's pretty far away, but the Tim Hortons uses little round sprinkles and um, Country Style uses like the big long ones. There's also a lot more icing and the Country Style one looks to be a little bit bigger. Which one has more icing? Um, the Country Style one. Okay, well, I'm going to take a half bite of my lovely Boston cream. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I keep on forgetting about you. Sorry. <laughs> you have a pile there. That's hilarious. Yeah. Wait, which, what's that one? Is that chocolate dip too? It's a Valentine's one. Look at that. Okay. It's blowing out the bottom. That one's got a ton of custard in it. Is oh, it custard? Yeah. I've never had a Boston cream. Is it, what is in the, is yeah, it like? Try it. Just try the custard? Yeah. It's so good. I don't like it at all. Oh man, it's so look at it. it's not so, saying it's a bad donut. I'm just not a custard it's person. It's so good. Take a bite of the apple fur. Are there hunks of apples in this one? Um, it tastes way better than Tim Hortons. That's for sure. Yeah. It has a lot more cinnamon in it than the uh, Tim Hortons donuts for sure. This vanilla dip, the donut is very, very moist. Mm. It's good? Very good. So, here's the one that I already tried from Tim Hortons, my chocolate dip. And here's the one from um, Country Style. The donut's a lot bigger. There's a lot more chocolate dip on it. It actually looks like a thick cake icing almost. It looks really good. The country style one? Yeah. Yeah, it looks really good. Let's try it. I took too big of a bite. Is it stale compared to the... No? Mm -hmm. We all got them all at the same time. It was like 9, 9.30. We all yeah. got them. So the chocolate dip from country style is my favorite so far. It actually tastes like cake icing on it. Do you want to try a little bite? No, no, I've got okay. enough donuts here. <laughs> it, <coughs> it actually tastes like cake icing. It's super good. Um, the chocolate dip was really good too. The batter was really nice and moist. It's, it's good donuts. All right, where's the pot of donut? All right. Which is a local family uh, place in the Brockville Plaza in Stingers. At the at the end of uh, behind Stingers or yeah. at the back of Stingers. Look at this apple fritter. Actually, it looks really good. You can oh, see the hunks of apple. There's a in hunk it. of apple. Old school. Um, Boston cream. Oh. So they do kind of like a little chocolate swirl instead of a dip, but that's okay. Now these are homemade or yeah, or uh, homemade. Um. Sorry. Uh. Or not organic, but the. What's what's, what's that word? I'm not sure which word. Gourmet. They're donuts. Homemade gourmet donuts. They're donuts, and they're going to be delicious. So I'm going to try the vanilla, the vanilla first, the vanilla dip. Oh yeah, you can't, you can't beat that. You can't beat that. They're so good. Mm-hmm. I don't even want to talk, I just want to eat it. The vanilla dip is really good. And here's the chocolate dip. Again, they don't do like the traditional kind of like actual chocolate dip. Just a few like squiggly lines of chocolate with some chocolate chips on it, but I'm cool with it. I'm uh, so I'm gonna, cool with it. I'm, I'm gonna try uh, taking a half bite and, and seeing if there's a lot of filling in it. Your apple fritter is ginormous. Oh! <laughs> oh yeah! Chuck that out. Lots of filling in it. Can I see? That's what you want. That's what you want in a, Can in, I try in a, that filling? Yeah, it's it's probably different. I actually don't mind that one. Ooh, I wonder if they make like Boston creams but with like lemon curd on the inside or something. Well, That'd maybe. be good. Oh my god. Sorry, this I'm off topic there. Stop so topic. good. I'm gonna try my chocolate dip one. My vanilla dip one was awesome. Mmm. 
Yeah. Right? They're a lot. Uh, they're a little bit more expensive, but it's so much more worth it. Hey, babe. What? You got a little donut on your mouth. <laughs> you got a little <laughs> melt on your donut. <laughs> so obviously, wish upon a donut is the better donut. I think. I'm sure you would agree. Yeah. Since you basically just ate your whole donut instead of taking a bite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if you're Brockville, go to Wish Upon a Donut and get those donuts. They're so good. Keep supporting local. Go on their Facebook page, Wish Upon a Donut. They have their hours. You can contact them. They'll get back to you right away. Uh, right now, they have a uh, pickup uh, behind. There's their... Behind the building. Yeah. Yep. You just go through the door, ring the doorbell. Somebody lets you in. And really fast, friendly, easy. But for everyone else, find a country style and get a country style donut. Yeah. Um, they are definitely a lot better than the rest. For a restaurant chain, country style is the best. Yeah. For but sure. But out of all of them, Wish Upon a Donut. Country style all, all, also has really good muffins. Their chocolate chip muffins are so good. The breakfasts are w really, really good. So we just really like country style, I think. I think so. Okay. I, I find that it's more... doesn't taste fast food-ish. Like, yeah. A little less than the other chains anyways. Yeah. All right, well, I'm going to go finish this plate of donuts. <laughs> this, my, I can't even fit them all on here. So here's just four of them. And I've got four more that kind of fell off my little plate. So we're going to go finish these donuts. All right, well, I hope you guys uh, liked our little video here about donuts. And uh, go subscribe on our Facebook page and YouTube. Local Eats with Local Peeps. All right, catch you next time. Bye, guys. See ya.